Good Sunday morning to you guys, Honest Abe Chicken, in with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm uh, going to be posting a couple videos today. Uh, so our, in our first video this morning, uh, we are going to be talking about basketball. Tennessee basketball, as a matter of fact. And you know what? Uh, Tennessee men's basketball, uh, to be more specific, uh, because... We got a huge, huge matchup uh, today against number one, Gonzaga. The Tennessee Volunteers are coming into this game, um, you know, looking pretty good. Of course, Lamonte Turner, he didn't play last game. He sat out um, and uh, just kind of resting his shoulder. You know, Rick Barnes kind of said that uh, he, uh, he, he just hasn't been himself, and so he wanted to kind of, you know, give him some extra time to, uh, you know, to get right. So, that's what uh, that's what they did, and Turner sat out against A uh, and M Corpus Christi, um, and uh, but and, and it showed, you know, because you know Tennessee started off kind of sluggish uh, in that game, and you know eventually, you know Bowden coming off the bench and whatnot uh, really helped. Uh, so it's it's going to be very very interesting to see what Tennessee does today against number one Gonzaga. Um, Gonzaga is undefeated right now, of course, and they are playing very, very well. Of course, you know, they are a, uh, a tournament team pretty much every year, but this year they got the talent. They are a true number one team. Um, you know, whether they'll be uh, number one in the end, uh, you know, I, I doubt it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens because, you know, I think Tennessee can win today. And how is Tennessee going to win today? So let's talk about that. Um, we got to defend the ball. Um, you know, the stars of today's game are going to be Grant Williams and, uh, and Hachimura for, uh, for Gonzaga. And, you know, Gonzaga, they play a lot of inside out, you know, dishing it down, throwing it back out, uh, shooting, you know, a three or an outside shot. And they're good at that. They got, they got a lot of, they got a lot of good shooters and they got, and they score, they score a lot of points. I think they're averaging like 87 points a game, um, you know, just so far in their first nine games. And so, you know, that's that's a lot of points. They score a lot of points. And they are very, very talented. They're very skilled. But, they, you know, it's going to be that big matchup. Um, you know, probably more, for most of the game, it'll probably end up being Kyle Alexander against Hachimura. But Kyle Alexander's got to step up his defense today. And we got to limit the scoring. Um, we got to make them make tough shots. I mean, not not give them easy shots, not give them easy inside shots, or or open threes. We have to play good, sound defense, and and that's going to be the key to the game. Uh, we can score with them. There's no doubt that we can we can score. But I think if we get in a running shootout uh, with Gonzaga, we will lose. And so we also have to stay out of foul trouble. We saw what foul trouble did to us in the Kansas game when Grant Williams fouled out. The game was over. It was. I mean, I knew. I knew when Williams fouled out that the game was over. There was no way we were going to end up winning that game. Grant Williams, Admiral Schofield, Kyle Alexander. I mean, these guys—they got to stay out of foul trouble with the way that Gonzaga plays an inside-out game. Um, you know, we saw a little bit of zone from Tennessee against uh, uh, Corpus Christi. And, I, you know, I haven't, I haven't watched, uh, you know, a lot of the Gonzaga game. I've watched two Gonzaga games this year. Uh, but, uh, you know, they, they seem to struggle, uh, according to some people, against the zone. You know, if you can play a good, tight zone, um, you know, they struggle a little bit. Uh, so, you know, maybe maybe we're preparing that um you know, so maybe we'll see a lot of zone today from Tennessee. Uh, I think uh, I think that would be a good option, especially with the way that they're playing inside-out game. And uh, and you know, I'm just I'm really looking forward to this. This is a top-notch matchup for Tennessee today, as as we take on number one Gonzaga. And you know, the talk around the country. You know, I've been hearing a lot. Of, I listen to a lot of you know sports talk radio and stuff like that. Um, you know, a lot of people are talking about Tennessee. Tennessee is back in basketball. Um, they don't care about football right now because we're not. But in basketball, we are back. We are a top contender in basketball. And, you know, I really, really like to hear that. Um, 
you know, a lot of people still expecting us to go to the Final Four. I'm expecting us to go to the Final Four. So, you know, I'm really, really looking forward to this matchup. You know, we lost a tough one against against Kansas, uh, you know, in overtime. You know, I'm not, personally, I'm not too terribly upset about it because we fought them tooth and nail, and they were, what, number two team at the time. Um, and so, yeah, you know what, it's, it's a tough schedule. You know, we got we got Memphis, I think, next week. Uh, you know, Penny Hardaway's team. And that's going to be a tough matchup as well. We got, we got a lot of tough uh, non-conference games this year. And we've been playing our hearts out. I tell you what. Um, Tennessee can play with the number ones. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that, that we can compete for a number one uh, spot. Or number at least a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Uh, and so I'm very, very looking forward to today's game at 3 o'clock. I think it's on ESPN. Uh, I definitely will be watching that game. I hope you will be as well. But, uh, but yeah, guys, you know, our, our big guys, they got to play big. Um, we got elite, unlimited turnovers. I, I kind of like to see Eve Pond start again. He struggled uh, against uh, Texas and m Corpus Christi. Uh, he's kind of he banged up his foot. Um, a couple weeks ago, and, and it kind of showed, and he kind of played kind of sloppy uh, last game. So hopefully he's doing better with the you know good long week off, and uh, and hopefully he's ready to go because I tell you what, man, he is an ESPN top ten countdown waiting to happen. That man is a beast. Uh, I mean, of course, yeah. You know, so was Grant Williams, SEC Player of the Year, Admiral Schofield, you know, all, all these guys, but uh, Eve Ponds. There's just something very special about him. He might not be the best shooter, but uh, athletic-wise, you know, just watching him play and go at it. I mean, I tell you what. I mean, this whole team, you know, looking looking good. They just they go after him. Kyle Alexander, you know, Fulkerson coming off the bench. Man, you know, got to love his his mask right now coming from up that broken nose. But, uh, man, that man, man plays with a passion as well. So, Tennessee has got a good team, and I'm very, very excited. 3 p.m., Tennessee versus number one, Gonzaga. It's going to be a tough matchup, but I can see Tennessee pulling this one off. If we hold them to, uh, you know, low 70s, uh, I think I think we can beat this team uh, for sure. So I'm going to go Tennessee 80, Gonzaga 72. That's me, Honest Abe, signing off for you guys. I'll catch you guys in my next video. We'll see you later.